right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Man, I hate the Yankees. Yeah, you are all villains to me because I happen to live in this region. Of if I don't start peeing soon, it's gonna be weird. He'll be all done and I'll still be here. Come on, Peter. Pee. Your dad fought in World War II and you can't even pee in a urinal? What the hell's wrong with you? All set? Yep. I know you didn't go. I'm gonna go pee in a st <laughs> Wow. I guess all this time Quagmire should have been saying wiggity. <laughs> no, but he is our friend. Well, it's just a thought, but have you ever considered just embracing your baldness? Yeah, Brian's right. You know, there's lots of big Hollywood celebrities who have gone bald with dignity. John Travolta, David Spade, Nicolas Cage, Jeremy Piven. And besides, don't you think you'll be happier just be- That's just Quagmire. He's acting all different now that he's bald. I'll go talk to him. Hey, slow down! Drive like hell, you'll get there! Quagmire, what the hell are you doing? I'm just letting all these hot rodders know that this is a neighborhood, not a speedway track. Enjoyed and rewound. Uh, there are a lot of people waiting. Is there anything else? Uh, yes. Do you have a garbage can back there? I have the backings to some fruit roll-ups I need to discard. I'm sorry. That's for library trash only. I understand. It's okay. God, he's been so weird lately. You notice now that he's bald, whenever he thinks about something, he scratches his wrist? Oh, hey, Quagmire, we got a picture. You want a beer? Eh, I don't think so. I was planning on looking at pictures of birds later, and I don't want to be all fuzzy-headed for that. Peter, would you mind putting on some shoes? Oh, you mean foot prisons? Yes, I would. Glenn Quagmire? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, yeah, I treated you for butt flu. Hey, you want to keep it down? Oh, hey, Dr. Geller. Sarah. Jim. Mariana. Jeez, Joe. Yeah, I come here a lot. All right, I'm gonna hit the John. Good, me and Joe can stay here and tell secrets. I'm wearing my dead grandmother's pants. Hey, Stewie. Um, hey, what's up? Were you... were you just looking at rollerblades? What? No, yeah, who cares? What do you want? Listen, I was at the hospital earlier and I, I heard something I wish I hadn't. Oh, please, Spanish. Although I'm not sure what the Spanish word no means, because it doesn't seem to mean the same thing as it does here. And the worst part is, I don't think Lois even knows he's sick. Oh, this is going to destroy her. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. It might be difficult for you to hear. What is it? Lois, I think your father is dying. What? Ha! Brian, what are you talking about? So... I've been trying to call my parents all day, and I can't get a hold of them. I tell you, this obituary came out great. Carter Pewterschmidt died today of the disease... Daddy? Well, look who's here! Daddy! You're okay! Of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Well, Brian said you were dying. And I finished a book! We had food coloring and water. Mama used to call it fool a <laughs> No, I don't get that. And everybody had an Uncle Earl. You know, that uncle to sit around in the house all day in his underdraws saying he between jobs? To be between jobs? All ill or even die, the stock price would plummet. I don't want you to think I'm not listening, but when's Christmas? Not for a while. But what I'm saying is I think Carter is sick, or possibly even dead, and that the man we saw today was an imposter brought in to keep Pewterschmidt Industries' stock price up. Oh, call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. Okay, if this guy is an imposter, he's gonna have to do everything Carter normally does. Well, for now, the key is weekly follow-ups. You know, cervical cancer is also a problem. My boyfriend thinks he might have prostate cancer. Nope, doesn't. Wow. You certainly look a lot better than that walking corpse I saw last week. Well, no one's ever gonna see that again, I can promise you that. I can't stress how important it is our secret be kept from the public. Okay, this is level 12. There's the lab. Let's get in there and find Carter's body. Oh crap, there's a keypad. We're just gonna have to try and figure out the code. When's his birthday? I think it's in March? <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? Specimen Z isn't Carter's body. What is it? Specimen Z is a cure for cancer. Carter didn't die, he cured himself. Hold it right there. 
You didn't forget about our date, did you? Of course not. I was just thinking since it's so nice out, we could go out for a run and then eat. Oh, yeah, no, no, you know, you know, I would totally do that. I, I, I just, I've already run like... Oh, crap. Brian, this is your heart. What the hell do you think you're doing? Stop. Brian, this is your penis. Don't listen to him. We're this... Go get him, Brian. <laughs> and by the way, the sun is really a black guy. The moon is Korean. Wow, this is amazing. I never want to lose this feeling. Please join me in welcoming David Chicago. Okay, so uh, hi, folks, and thank you all for coming. I know this would have been a great day to surf. That's not a joke. Uh, anyway, this is the hopeful... None of the other animals would share with the hopeful squirrel. Hey, eyes front, I'm talking! Don't tell my kid what to do. Well, maybe if you did, I wouldn't have to. Oh, Shut up, this is free! You know why it's free? Because it's so... And so, the squirrel decided to climb for his own nuts. I don't need legs when I've got a positive attitude and arm strength. I'm sorry that we mistreated you, said Buddy the Badger. And your friend Peter would be the public face of the hopeful squirrel. He would be David Chicago. Well, I... I don't know. Joe, this happens all the time. You wouldn't believe who really writes all those Stephen King books. Excuse me, Mr. Chicago? Could you please sign my copy of your book? Sure, I... Easy there, Joe. Hot Rod asked for Mr. Chicago. <laughs> and even in death, I'm a better critic than you. Leave me alone! Go back to hell! Jean, is everything all right? It's fine, Joanne. Go back to sleep. So tell me, how did you decide to write about a handicapped squirrel? You know, I'd see these cripple kids limping down the sidewalk on my way to work, and I would just laugh and laugh, and I thought, hey, put that in a book. <laughs> So what's going on here? Just having dinner. That's Dad's chair. He's gonna be mad. Wow, Brian, you Yeah, are you sure you can finish a marathon? I'm not worried, Meg. I'm just gonna give it all I've got, like Scotty engineering the Enterprise. Scotty, we need more speed. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. She can't take any more right now. It's okay, Scotty. Uh, Lieutenant Uhura, open all channels for... Captain, I, I've, I've got to uh, interrupt again. I, I've just been thinking about this, this giving her all she's got thing. I mean, I've been completely wrong for years now. I, I feel terrible. I mean, think of how many crises... Peter, I think we need to talk. You totally screwed up my book. You're getting kids to laugh at handicapped people when I'm trying to inspire them. I'm afraid you're off the project. What? You can't kick me off the project. I'm David Chicago. I... Peter, Bonnie told me that Joe's very upset. Did you really take his book away from him? Did you just poop and then get into bed without underwear on? All right, now who's got something? I, 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 got, I got something. What if the squirrel has lasers that he shoots out of his eyes? Quagmire's on the board. Brian, you're all sinewy. Your whole body looks like Paul McCartney's neck. Thanks. That's not a compliment. You look terrible. What does your girlfriend think of this? I dumped her. She couldn't keep up with me. Hey, grab me some more Band-Aids, will ya? I got like eight more nipples to cover up before my run. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hot moms who are married but looking, David Chicago! <laughs> hey, Buzzsaw hand tore his head open. His brains! His brains! They're everywhere! A little girl yelled. Damn, that's cray cray in a good way right there! Exclaimed Billy the Bullfrog. I'm sorry, Peter, you're fired. I'm sorry Joe's dream didn't work out for you, Peter. <sighs> what was I thinking? Joe's the one with all the talent. Me trying to write a book is like CeeLo trying to find a pair of pants. Brian? Okay, you deserve better. Peter, wait. 
If I could not forgive, then I would be truly handicapped. What? It's from the book, Peter. What book? I forgive you, Peter. You do? Yeah. Even though it might be a little bug digging away down there, just nagging and itching and... <laughs> Crap! I did it to myself! Uh, what is that? Well, Peter, I'm glad you made up with Joe. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it just goes to show you, Lois. Books is 